going to be playing the golf. Hope you're enjoying all the action here on 2K Sports of our PGA Tour coverage. We're picking up on the first hole. Let's get going. This will be a challenging one this time. There's strong winds blowing. And you know the wind's right to happen. Beautiful swing there. Well, this is some lovely momentum to take into the tournament coming off a last start win, Rich. Can't think of any better momentum. Obviously, the players firing on all cylinders. Sit back, watch, and enjoy it. Going with the eight iron here. That doesn't look good, Rich. Bit too far right for my liking. And here we are with the third shot. Well struck. And this would be a great par putt if you can make this. Get excited. This could go in. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. Starting the round at even par. You've arrived at a par four. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous. Well, Rich, I'm being honest. This lie is putrid. Smart shot. Always back into the fairway as a safe play. So we're going into the wind. And this is an extremely long putt. You might even have to hinge on this one. Never quite hit that. Bogey putt coming up here. Oh, I like the look of this. Just didn't drop. Well, that's disappointing. This putt's for double. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Our man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Well, I'm down on a third hole as Matt Kuchar sets up his next shot. And this one's for birdie. Go in. That'll help your scorecard. Well hold. Damn it. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Chance here to reclaim a bit of focus after that double at the last. Going with the hybrid. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. A lucky bounce. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Oh, this looks pure. Okay, steady now. And that brings to an end that hole. Currently at two over par. T is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. Well, this should find the short grass. Let's head out to the eighth hole. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Let's get back to it, shall we? Well, the youth movement on tour has been prevalent for a handful of years, and Cam Champs really stepped up as one of those guys, Rich. The distance this guy hits the ball, it's just unfathomable. He does. He moves it out there distances that we haven't seen before at a consistent level. However, I think he has to get more comfortable with being out there and being in the spotlight. He struggled at times but there's no lack of talent in this young man. He really is a sight to behold when you see him up close and personal. And I gotta say, the swing 
It's dynamic. So good. Ooh. What a, a damn flag! Almost hold it. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Now four back after that hole. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the fifth. Four right. Outstanding oh. approach shot. So this I one here, to this do is that. back to back ah. birdies, moving him in the right direction. And down it goes. So that's back to back birdies. And I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. John, give us an update. What's shaking? One down on the sixth hole as Kucher preps his next shot. Get in. It doesn't matter how you hit it if you can hold putts like that. And he'll move into the top ten. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Here we are at the sixth hole. Going with a three wood here. Come on, sit. Strong. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Wow. Yeah! Rich, how good is that? That's incredible. Oh, and up he goes, marching to the top of the leaderboard. And it's time to recap that play. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. That was wonderfully done. Why don't we recap what Patrick Cantlay did just moments ago? Risky little bunker shot, but watch this. And back to the course with the live action. Coming off a hat trick of birdies. That's great momentum. Yeah, that one's looking good. Great shot into the seventh and a chance for birdie. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Oh, just missed. Can make this one. It's for par. Okay, let's head to the next. Billy Horschel is atop the leaderboard with a two-stroke lead. We've reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours. <laughs> Playing from around 240 yards. The edge of the Four strokes off the lead. Interesting choice of the driver here. Getting ready to play their third. Four shots behind our leader. A spot the top five on the line here. This one's looking good. Ooh. Putting for par. 
Job done. Let's head to the next. Billy Horshaw currently in the lead here. We've arrived at a par four hole. This one looks to be bunker bound, Rich. Not good. Here we are in the fairway bunker. Can they execute a good shot? John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Well, it looks like about 30 feet to the hole, guys. Wow, that's misjudged. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Gets it to go down. Wow, what a save. In the bunker with their tee shot, and that is a very good save playing this shot from the sand. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Time now to make the turn for home, Rich, and uh, this is an exciting part of the championship. What are your thoughts on this performance? Heck of a round going right now for this player. Has moved well inside the top ten and continues to move up this leaderboard with nine holes left. This looks to be hitting for the cut stuff. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Wind's blowing from left to right. We're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. And now we go to the 11th, where this happened just a moment ago. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. And here we are with the third shot. Currently four shots off the pace. A oh, wonderfully played chip shot. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. And down she goes. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. Not a bad line, this one. Sitting at one under. Currently tied for 10th place. Looks to be going with the six iron. As Tiger would say, play it. Well, a little off the target with that one. Oh, the win wreaks havoc with another golf ball. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. Always lovely to see a long range bomb made. Let's recap it. Getting ready to play their third. Five strokes behind our leader. Pretty good shot there. This part of about six feet coming up. Solid par putt that. He finds himself in a share of 11th. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Left yourself an opportunity. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Mm, just hammered that through the line. Just six feet between here and the hole. Yeah, you'll take that. Trailing by five shots after that hole. We have a par four on this one. Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's going to work every time. 
John's down on the course. And do you have a better look at this lie? This one's first cut and not too deep into that first cut either. This might not be all that bad. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. Not since Y.E. Yang have I seen a hybrid mashed that hard. And the effort, that one. He has this putt to save his putt. Well hold. Let's move on. Currently one under for the event. And moving down the leaderboard as well. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. This one might roll into the rough. Johnny Mack, what's the news? I'm down here on the 18th hole, guys. This is Cameron Champ's next shot. And here we are with their four. And from the bunker here. Ah, it's heading to the rough for mine. And here we are with the third shot. Five shots off the pace. Oh, well played. A chance for the top ten here if you can make this. Ouch, that hurts. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. And that putt will drop. Well done. He's in a share of 12th place. We have a par three on this one. Going with the seven. That's a shame. Just leaking left, that one. Not far from the green here, just in the green side rough. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Damn it. Oh, well done. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Looks good off the blade. And that putt drops. Now one under, heading to the stretch. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. Sadly, in the sand, but a chance to make up for the error. Ow! Wow, that's right out of the Gary Player highlight reel. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. That should find the fairway. Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. Pretty good win back into the player's face. Nothing good out to the right. This is a trouble. This would be a great up and down.
Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. You don't mind the look of this. Nicely hold, and for par. Former FedEx Cup champ Billy Horschel has the lead in this one. Let's see what happens here at the 17th. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. Well, this is not a good outcome. Buried in the deep stuff. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Woo, back there, Horsey. Getting ready to play their third. Five shots off the lead. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. And this one is for his par. Oh, that looks like a pure stroke. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. I'm just here on the 18th hole. This is Matt Kuchar's next shot. <clears throat> and as they stand over this putt, it's for a share of third spot. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Billy Horschel is atop the leaderboard with a one-stroke advantage. All right, one more hole to go. Let's see how you handle the 18th. That should find the bunker. Found the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. Oh, clever play that. Just get it back into the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. This one is heading to a really not so good space. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Well, the putter's going to be coming out of the bag, but it's still going to be a long way from the hole. And this putt for a final score of 71. If that's the right pace, this should drop. And that's how he signs off on this event. I held par. And it's worth taking another look at that one. Threw a lot of holes there. Wind plays havoc. Um, I'm happy with that. Sadly, no back-to-back -back victories here for this player, Rich, but you'd have to be impressed with their performance overall. Luke, unfortunately, not getting the back-to-back -back wins came ever so close, but unfortunately, coming up just a little bit shy, still awfully impressed with this week's work. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time. See you next time.